Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a what's in my Neverfull MM bag and I thought that I would kind of do a little twist on this video and do a what's in my carry-on. So I'm going to be using this bag as a carry-on when I go on holidays next month. So I thought that I would show you what I'm going to be taking in this bag. It's very similar to what I carry around every day. It is the perfect bag for traveling because it's so big and it just fits so much. On the bag I just have this bag charm and this is from Primark. It's just a little pom-pom and I have my luggage tag on it as well which I recently got for my birthday and I did do a video showing how I put it on the bag and that was in my last vlog. I will have that linked in the description box below if you want to know how to put on the luggage tag. So the first thing in my bag and this is the biggest thing that is in here. It's my MacBook 13 inch laptop and this fits in here perfectly and it does make the bag a little bit heavy but I really do want to take this with me while I go away because I don't have much storage on my phone and if I'm vlogging or anything like that I'm just going to put it onto my laptop and edit the footage while I'm there. The only kind of annoying thing about the bag is that I don't have an organiser so everything is kind of just thrown in here. I do have things separated into like makeup bags and stuff like that. I really do want to invest in one of the, I think they're called Samorga, I think that's the name of the company. They make bag organisers and they have little compartments for the bags. So I think that I might invest in one of those because it would be really handy to have and have everything kind of separate and organised because right now everything is just kind of all over the place because there's not so many pockets in the bag. So the next thing that I have in here is my iPhone 6 Plus and obviously I'm going to take this with me wherever I go. The case that I have on right now is from the brand Nanette Lepore. I'm not too sure um, if I can find a link to it I will link it in the description box with everything else that I mentioned in this video but it's just like a rose gold kind of pieces of foil. I just really like this phone case and I also have a screen protector from Casemate on this phone as well. Then the next thing that I have in here is my phone charger. Of course I'm going to bring this with me. My phone dies so easily and it's just way better to have it in your bag than in your suitcase because if your suitcase goes missing or anything like that then you'll have your charger with you in your bag. So the next thing that I have in my bag is this portable phone charger. This is by the company Mophie and I got this one in the colour gold but it looks a little bit more like a rose gold. It kind of matches my phone a little bit. My phone dies the whole time so this was definitely something that I needed to invest in. I've been using this a lot lately. You can just press the little button here and it tells you how many bars is left. So right now I have two charges left on this. So the next thing that I have in here is my sunglasses. They are the Ray-Ban Aviators and they are in the size 58. So they're just the kind of standard size. I also have my purse in here. This is just a Michael Kors one that I picked up on TK Maxx like years ago. I really do need to get a new one but I'm not too sure which one I'm going to get yet so I've been just using this one. Another thing that I mentioned in my last vlog is this card holder and this card holder protects your cards from anyone that is trying to scan your details through your wallet or anything like that. So this is kind of like a hard material and it's rose gold so it matches my phone and my charger. I'm just obsessed with rose gold. And then the next thing that I would have in here obviously if I'm using this as a carry-on is my passport. And this one is by Victoria's Secret. I do love this case. It's just really cute. One of the very last things that I have in my bag is my little makeup bag. This is like my mini emergency kit. I know they sell those little tiny bags that have like everything that you could need in those but I kind of came up with my own and I put stuff in here that I would need. I carry this around with me in my handbag all the time. This bag is from Elizabeth Arden. So I have this little mirror from GHD. It's obviously really handy to have in case you want to touch up your makeup. I have whatever lipstick that I'm normally wearing that day I like to keep in this bag. So today I'm wearing the Clinique Beige Pop Lipstick and the MAC Spice Lip Liner. And I'm also wearing a lip gloss from MAC. I don't like to keep too much makeup with me because I don't ever like redo my whole makeup. This is the Laura Geller Matte Maker Invisible Oil Blotting Powder. I use this every single day because I always get a bit oily in my T-zone because I do put on a lot of highlight and I also use it with this little brush from Bare Minerals. And the next thing that I have in here is Basic Floss. Another thing that I have is this little mini perfume from Victoria's Secret and I keep this one with me because 
It's a spray and it's really small. This one is the Bombshell Summer Perfume. I have some chewing gums, which is definitely an essential that I always have to have with me. Here I have my Apple headphones and I use these all the time. They're really good. These are the older headphones. I don't have the new ones. I have two Go-Go's in here as well. I also have a pack of Rennies and I will be putting in some paracetamol in here as well. I have another lipstick from Essence. This one is Nude Love and this one was a limited edition colour so I don't think you can get this anymore but it's just another nude lipstick. The very last thing that I have in my little makeup bag is a nail file. This one is one of the Crystal Nail Files by Leighton Denny. There's only one pocket in here and inside there I have this little bag from Liz Earl and I just have a few pads in here because you never know when you're going to need some spare ones so I like to keep those with me. And the very last thing that I have in here is one of these clear little plastic bags and this one is probably too big, I will need to get a smaller one. I don't think that they would accept this going through security even though you can see through the bag. I still would probably have to put all my little makeup bits and stuff like that into this little bag. So that is everything that I have in my Louis Vuitton at Neverfull MM and that is everything that I'm going to be taking with me to the airport in this bag. It is really heavy when everything is in here but as I said it fits everything perfectly. It's the perfect bag to use as a travel bag and this is going to be the only bag that I'm taking with me. I will do a kind of pack with me video if you are interested in that showing you what I'm taking in my suitcase and some little hacks that I use when traveling. So let me know if you would like to see that video. If you are someone that watches my videos every time and you're still not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.